more and more of you are taking care of senior parents, and that's why being prepared to take care of them in their own home or moving them into your own home is so important. Fall slips and trips can actually lead to some serious injuries or even death. And joining us this morning is Debbie Russo of Senior Solutions for You. Thank you so much for being with us. Thank you. Yeah, this really is a big changing role, and people, you know, can get paralyzed by the thought of all the responsibility in taking care of a parent. And I know you say that this fall is really the biggest thing people need to be concerned about. Statistics are pretty amazing. They are. You know, as an in-home health company, we're often called in to give a caregiver to a senior when those falls could have been prevented if they had taken some precautions within their home. And it more common than you think? Very, very common. Okay, now I know you have some things here that you think people should incorporate into their home or their elderly parents' home. Why don't you give us an idea of what you have here and why they're so important? They're so, it's so simple to change some of the stuff in their home. One thing is to just eliminate clutter. A lot of times you'll find magazines, newspapers, boxes around. So if we can eliminate that from the hallways within their home, then if they're ambulating, it'll be a lot easier and they can eliminate those falls. Really, because it's like, yeah, I guess, you know, a magazine on a carpet, you can come right out Absolutely. from underneath you. Absolutely. Now, I notice you have the stark contrast between the two different pairs of shoes, the slippers versus the rubber soles here. Every time we go into a senior's home, you see them wearing the beautiful slippers, <laughs> which is wonderful, but the back of the slipper isn't, doesn't have any traction. So we always recommend that, that a senior in their home wear a sole, a rubber soled shoe, so that they can really have that traction around their floor. Mm -hmm. And this is all the time. And this looks like a slide-on, so just as easy to wear as a slipper It's a well. slide-on, but it's important to have that back so they're mm -hmm. not sliding out as well. Okay, but it's, it's, it's slightly smaller, so yes. they could be easier. Yes. Now, um, what about these plugs here? What are those you for? You know, the simplest things that you wouldn't think of, um, just an electrical cord that might be hanging out or just away from the wall that you can trip on if you're using a walker or oh, cane. Sure. So we just recommend tying them up, tying them up. Then there's Velcro products, but then the most inexpensive way is just a twist tie to just make sure that they're tucked away. Okay, that's good advice for anybody. It is really good advice good for everybody, sure. No, I mean, you look at the bath mat and you say, well, this should be simple, but uh, a simple lot of people don't bother. It's simple and you'd be so surprised how many people don't have them. But to make sure you have a bath mat, but not just any bath mat, a, a really nice rubber one. Mm -hmm. And what about the falls. handles? On the, the grab the bars are important. And most of the time we get called in to install grab bars after someone's fall. So if you can just take that precaution, mm -hmm. knowing that you need that assistance in getting up and getting out. Okay. It makes sense. Um, and what about these scatter rugs here? Um, we love throw rugs, whether they're just in the home or in the bathroom. And it's just important to make sure that you have a throw rug that has a rubber back versus oh, sure. one that doesn't because that would pr promote a lot of slipping. Okay, and these are so popular too. They're so they're, popular and right. so nice. Now, but it's not just about things that preventing falls. I mean, just good health care. What, what are some things that at this point you need to be careful of too? The two other main areas of focus is, is number one, health checks, prescription checks, making sure that you know, your glasses and prescription is up to date, making sure that, that you can go to your doctor so that he can review the management of your medication to make sure that you're not getting dizzy or off balance because mm -hmm. the simplest over-counter medication can kind of intermix with your other medications making you not feel that great mm -hmm. and less stable. Yeah, and it's probably always good to make sure that one's not prescribing something that competes with another. Debbie, thank you so much for uh, offering us uh, some tips on how to make things a little easier for our parents and other elders. Thank you so much.